Hi, my name is Brent Satoris with Search Engine Journal. I'm here at PubCon Vegas with Cynthia Johnson, who's a managing partner at Rank Lab. Uh, Cynthia, great to have you here. I really appreciate you joining me today. Thank you very much. It's very exciting. Yeah. So tomorrow you're speaking a bit about social media in a mobile world, but um, you've also been involved for quite some time speaking about social in general. When it comes to social media today, what is it that you really find yourself excited about or interested in right now? Uh, for me, I think it's really how social media influences search engines. Uh, that's, a, that's a big piece. Just um, building authority around the people in a company to build authority for your brand mm -hmm. and those brand signals, developing those brand signals. So there's been a lot of discussion on social signals over the years, right? right like right. we really thought they were going to have a strong value from like Google Plus and so everybody dived into Google right. Plus. And what do you think is the space on social signals right now? Like, you know, are they really, in your opinion, going to become like essential for SEO? And what do you think the impact is today? No, I absolutely do think that it will become essential for SEO. Uh, those those branded signals, the conversations people mm -hmm. have around your brand, the people associated with your brand, uh, extremely valuable. Breaking up, you know, branded search versus organic, you know, mm -hmm. it's just um, we've seen great results uh, having a very strong communities built around a brand. And you, you do, you, you were mentioning that a lot of that can come through tracking, right? You can get into the data of being able to track exactly right. how things are coming in. Um, uh -huh. What are the things that you're tracking right now when it comes to data from social? Well, one thing is uh, we were seeing a lot of direct traffic mm -hmm. and very frustrating. You do all of this work in social and you see all of this direct traffic coming in. And you're like, that's not it. I know it's not. I will, it turns out there is uh, something called dark social, uh, dark social, and dark social is if I were to copy a link and text it to you, sure, or email it to you, uh, well, that comes in as direct traffic. Interesting. So when they click through it, it ends up coming in as direct traffic. Right. So right. how much do you, do you have any kind of like guess on how much you like? I mean, obviously uh -huh. you can never really truly tell that. So mm -hmm. when you apply like a percentage to that dark traffic, right. what kind of percentage are you applying to that? Like of of social traffic, we were seeing. Um, and again, I work in behavioral healthcare for uh, social media for behavioral healthcare. Mm -hmm. um, we were seeing up to seventy percent of our social traffic coming in as direct. 70%? 70%, yeah. Wow, that's interesting. And do you think that it's very niche based or is that something that people could take away listening to this and say, hey boss, you know, that right. direct traffic, I should get more, like what, right. is there a range or is it pretty confident that it's a large percent of that direct is still I, from social? You know, I would say it's a large percentage. Uh, in behavioral health care, the content itself is, you know, stuff that you might not want to share, you know, sure, out, right? Sure, sure. Um, but 70%, I mean, in any industry, if it's over 40%, that's a significant amount of traffic coming in as direct. And if you're not tracking the content or the links going out, uh, it does. You don't really know where to spend your time. You don't know if what you're doing in social matters. You cut your budgets, sure. hire more interns instead of a professional. Uh, so, so how, how, how do if somebody was listening to this right now, how can they go about? A, pr a path to starting to look at tracking whether that direct uh -huh. traffic is actually from social? Uh, yes, uh, I use Google URL uh, builders mm -hmm. and so you just when you go into the direct traffic if you you know built the URL for Facebook you can see which percentage of the direct gotcha. traffic came from that. Well I appreciate you spending yeah, some time with me thanks. today. Thank you for joining <laughs> us and uh, if anybody wanted to get in touch with you a uh, social account uh -huh. they should follow or a place where you're blogging right now? Uh, sure, I'm actually most active uh, on Twitter at Cynthia Live. I host a Twitter chat there uh, every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Pacific time. If you'd like to email me, you can email me at Cynthia at ranklab.com. Awesome, thank you. Thank Cynthia. you so much. This is Kelsey Jones, executive editor of Search Engine Journal, and I'm here today with Guy Kawasaki, chief evangelist of Canva. Guy, thanks so much for joining us. I know you did a keynote today at PubCon about personal branding yeah, and better social media. The conferences I attended, the speakers were fantastic. The weather here has been amazing. I mean, this location, the hotel. The thing I'm really liking about the SEJ Summit is the three takeaways. Yes. Capture. Yes. I'm leaving with way more. I also like the single session format for conferences. I agreed to be a speaker here because I think above all else, the, the quality of people who attend the meeting. There's something to be said about the fact that um, you can't just pay to come. Uh, it's by invitation only. 
what I've really liked about the speakers is that it's been very well-rounded. We focused on content generation ideas.